The man who admitted to killing his wife, an Escondido police officer, pleaded not guilty to murder and arson. Murrieta police say 27 year old Freddy Perez Rodas called 911 Wednesday night saying his house in Marietta was on fire and his wife was trapped inside. Police say his story eventually fell apart and he essentially admitted to shooting 25 year old Laura Perez three times in the chest. They say he led them to her body in a locker at a storage facility in Moreno Valley. Bail for Perez Rodas is set as $2 billion and he faces up to life in prison. Natasha Sweet spoke with Escondido police about losing one of their own. A very somber presence among Escondido police officers Friday. And the sad part for me is that we couldn't be there in her time of need. Chief Craig Carter says while 25 year old Laura Perez was only with the department since October, the impact she left will never be forgotten. This is something that you know, nobody should get used to. Born in Mexico, Perez was a young child when she moved with her family to Riverside County in 94. She worked hard to be a good student, and Carter says in the academy she was very tenacious and as a mother loved her four year old daughter. She truly enjoyed serving her community, like the time she helped a man track down his lost phone. Uh, just her extra effort to go and find the phone for this gentleman, make sure he got it back, took the time to interact with him. It was just a great example of kind of that extra step. She shared with one of my supervisors that she shot that she might get in trouble because she was taking a selfie with one of the uh, one of the people out in the community. And that's just the way she was. She wanted to be professional the entire time. Just days after the tragic death of Officer Perez, police have already reported someone setting up a fictitious fund in her name. It's something Chief Craig Charter says he doesn't take lightly. Uh, I will tell you I've been in contact with Riverside County District Attorney's Office and they have indicated in no uncertain terms that they will go after anybody that tries a scam with as much vengeance and to the extent of the law that they can. While the investigation continues, the memories of Perez continue to live on as the department works through their grief. This is a very dangerous job um, and law enforcement are killed in line of duty every single day and you don't expect it from your loved one and you don't expect it from in your house and so for us that's very difficult to handle. Natasha Sweet, San Diego 6 News.